Charlie, Monto Tuiello with Blue Bear Flutes, our website, bluebearflutes.com, where you'll find some of the greatest and latest Native American flutes available on the market today. We do try to stick with things that are more natural and oriented towards the original design, so you'll find that a lot of our flutes have a natural finish on them, and if you like it the way it is, fantastic. If you want it to be a little shinier, I usually oil them, which is an old school type of technique for making wood last forever, okay? Today's quick video is just to tell you how to convert um, inches to millimeters and vice versa. I've had so many people ask me on YouTube videos, um, you know, how many millimeters is that? The distance is this many inches, how many millimeters? Um, really, I've had so many for so long ask me this question. This video has been a long time in the works. We've talked about it forever, but I thought that it was oversimplified and I feel like maybe there's a good reason for me to, uh, to offer this information. So you can do one thing that I do in the shop a lot of times if you want to convert inches and millimeters. Uh, I have several yardsticks and rulers in the shop that are inches to millimeters. This ruler I use for drafting, so it's not really one that I would use, but uh, the inches are right here and below it are the millimeters. Now a good ruler, they both start at one. On this side here, this is uh, like 30 centimeters and this is one, and then this is one inch, and then this is 12 inches. So, you know, once again, you get kind of what you pay for, I guess. <laughs> but for my purpose of drafting, this little guy here worked out just fine. Uh, but on my rollers in the shop, you know, here's one inch and then it'll tell you how many millimeters. It's really handy. Um, you can use uh, calipers to decide how many inches or millimeters. Even super old school, uh, for whatever reason, more complex than necessary rulers there are out there all over the place. You can go back to the old days and just measure everything with a quipu, which is uh, kind of a tied knot uh, in a piece of string. And as long as your friend has a piece of string with the same size tied knot in it, uh, you can pretty much get the same measurements. There is an old wives tale, especially floating around the Native American flute community, that things are measured with your thumb and with the distance between these knuckles and this knuckles. And that sounds really great, except for the fact that if I told you to make a flute uh, that needs to be roughly XYZ size and your fingers and measurements were off a little bit from mine, it would throw off your design quite a bit. Most people forget to take that into consideration. And it's just, I feel like, more of a, a wives' tale than actual Native American history. But the one foolproof way to determine uh, exactly down to the micron or half a micron, whatever size you really desperately need to change, and I mean for anything, you know, because I've said about Native American flutes, this ain't rocket science. Uh, if yours is off a millimeter here or there, it's not a big deal. Two or three inches, which some people's fingers and thumbs might be. Anyway, the one sure-fired way, other than multiplying an inch times 25.4 uh, to get just a really super quick, fast, accurate, I mean incredibly accurate way of determining how many millimeters is X, Y, Z amount of inches. Okay, Google, convert 12 inches to millimeters. 12 inches is equivalent to 304.8 millimeters. I can't do it in my head that fast. I really can't. I used to could when I was a kid, but today, okay, Google, convert 365 millimeters to inches. 365 millimeters is 14.37 inches. So a year is roughly 14.37 inches long. <laughs> anyway, if you're watching this video on some type of device, except for possibly a smart TV, which may not give you the functionality of searching such a thing, of course, you're probably not going to be watching a smart TV in your shop or in your garage or in your kitchen or wherever you're trying to make Native American flutes. You probably have something nearby, and if you slip up like I do oftentimes and say, okay, go, go, I've learned how to cheat, but anyway, if you slip up and say something about Google, it'll be like, hey, I'm here to help, or I'm sure that uh, the iPhone version does the same thing. And if it doesn't, you can always search. I mean, I, uh, I do the, the whole okay thing a lot, but there's a little search bar at the top of my phone and convert 47 centimeters to feet. 47 centimeters is equivalent to 1 foot 6.504 inches. I mean, I don't know how close or how quick you need this information, but there it is for you. 
I hope this video helps you out. I know it's probably a little bit silly and many people are thinking, oh, that's just not something I really need. Uh, but to be honest with you, I have had hundreds, probably thousands of people ask me for my, my information in metric. And in the shop, I use metric and standard, uh, you know, or English or whatever you want to call it, old English measurements. I use all of that all the time. And uh, a lot of it off the top of my head from mechanic work when I was uh, in my youth, uh, knowing that a 10 millimeter is just slightly smaller than a 3 8 socket. There's a lot of ways you can come up with this information. You can memorize all of it, which would be absolutely silly, or you could, you know, simply, okay, Google, and she's there to help. So anyway, I hope this finds you well. I hope you enjoyed uh, all of this content, and if you haven't seen our other videos, make sure you check them out, because we have hundreds of videos on making and playing the Native American flute and uh, a lot of other Native American information as well. So once again, Charlie Montatuyella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes, bluebearflutes.com, and Blue Bear Flutes on Instagram. We hope to see you again really soon. Take care.